The boos are for Oleksandr Yusek, the Ukrainian heavyweight national champion. The bronze medalist in the 2009 World Championships. And the cheer for Tamor Mamadov of Azerbaijan. And he really is the rising star, not only of this country, but international heavyweight boxing. The European champion, the national champion, and at just 18 years of age, a real talent. Six years the difference between the Ukrainian and the Azerbaijani boxer. Both have impressive records coming into this heavyweight bout. But which of them, Castle, has caught your eye? Well, let's see. Both had a bye in their first rounds, which is a merit to their top ten rankings coming in, Nick. Both averaged 20 points or better in three out of four matches. Both retired one of their opponents between rounds. Now, I think I've said enough for you to read between the lines, but in case I have not, let me clarify. This one will bring down the house. I am sure that this is going to be one of the best bouts we've seen all evening. This is a tall boxer standing in front of you in Tamar Mamadov, and the fans here love him. Now, by far the biggest final of both of these boxers' careers to date, the referee, Tony Germain, out of Canada. An exchange of gifts from both boxers. Now, Mamadov in the blue for Azerbaijan and Yusek in the red corner for the Ukraine. Both of these boxers big hitters, but for heavyweights, fast punches as well. And there's going to be no hanging around. They're both down to business. And look at these big punches from Mamadov already. The combination is working. The hook and jab. And it's a superb start. From the blue corner, look at Mamadov here. Thundering those punches in. Take a look at the sharp, educated, learned jab of Tamar Mamadouf. He steps in there, he uses all the weight behind him, he brings those jabs up from his feet, through his body, turns his hands over, he's very, very fundamentally sound, and he's big. I like the way he's mixing up the punches as well, Castle. He's hitting the body and the belly hard of Yusek, trying to open up that cover, the one-two to the ribs. And then another combination to the head. It's a great start for the Azerbaijani boxer. And if he keeps up this rate, he'll have this one over before three. Oh, good. Punches from Yusek. Letting the teenager know that he's not going to have it all his own way. Nice right hand jabbing the starch out of the neck of Alexander Yusek. Look at the way he snaps back the neck of Yusik every time Mamadov throws that jab, he throws it with bad intentions. And Mamadov now covering up, showing that he's got all the skills and he's prepared to mix them all up. early pace has slowed down just a little I gather this is just the quiet before the next storm Nick these two really 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 understand what's at line this is the heavyweight championship of the world that means something special doesn't it certainly to these two in the ring it does 20 seconds left on the first round and they are both scoring high heavy blows here great work you have to say from both the Ukrainian and Mamadov and Yusek didn't start off as sharp but he's certainly finishing with gutso Mamadov showing that he can take a punch as well as give it 
And the bell goes for the end of the first round. And an amazing performance. Well, as we've been saying, that the crowd are seeing the scores before we do, and you can see a rather disgruntled look on the face of the Azerbaijani president who's come to watch his two heavyweights and super heavyweights closely. But he started off brilliantly, but just let, by our account here in the box castle, the Ukrainian start to find the target on a regular basis in the last 20 seconds, he 25. He sure is, and look at his face. He's grinning down on his gum shield with everything he's got, putting all his weight behind those big hooks, and testament to Mamadov, who's really taken a couple of big shots here. Let's see if he can start this round with the same fire he started the first that's why you could see the look of disappointment up in the vip section of the stadium here because the ukraine has a one-point advantage over mamadov in the first of three rounds six minutes of fighting still to go and away they go now can mamadov raise his game yusek must be feeling just that little bit more confident knowing that he started the second one point ahead of the azerbaijani boxer Good footwork by the Ukrainian, good lateral movement. He's stepping away, he's circling, and then he's counter-attacking brilliantly. And Mamadov looks like he may have his hands full here in this second round. Mamadov want to keep those hands up. The last thing he could afford is to get a warning for a low blow. Not when this is so close. Does not want to take a warning and give the two points away. Now. Good combination punching by Yusek. Downstairs and upstairs, keeping the Azerbaijani boxer on guard at all times. He cannot pause for a moment. Well, ooh, and again, another low blow, but the referee didn't see that one. And uh, Mamadov starting to feel the brute force of the older boxer 24 years of age to Yusek against 18 to uh, Taymor Mamadov and you could see the confidence starting to build on Alexander Yusek's performance Yusek of course a uh, bronze medalist in the last world championships 2009 in Milan, Italy, a former European champion at a lower weight, light heavy. But looking at him now, Carson, it's difficult to see how he got down to 81 kilos because he looks full, the full 91 kilo boxer. Yeah, he is clearly filling out his boxing uniform and testament to his great, great athleticism. He's no slower as a result of it. This was where Yusek started to dominate in the first round, and Mamadov needs to dig deep here because the Ukrainian clearly looks the more powerful of the two boxers. But can the skill factor be the winning factor for the Mamadov here for the Azerbaijani boxer in the blue? Oh, lovely little jab there. The crowd saw it, as would we, and he needs a few more of those. Good body work right there at the end of the round. Well, as much as you want the local hero to win, as much as you love it when the teenagers turn the tables on the more established boxers, you have to go with Yusek on that round. Again, like so many of the Ukrainian boxers and Lomachenko earlier on today, refusing to sit down. But some very big, powerful punches thrown by Yusek and some of them seem to stun the teenager from Azerbaijan. Yeah, and it's not surprising. I mean, this guy's really laying the leather, Nick, as you pointed out. He's all of his 91 pounds, and he's the shorter boxer. Not by a lot, but you can see how his weight is more compact as opposed to the more dispersed 
91 kilograms of Tamor Mamadou. And as a result, those punches are coming harder and they're coming stronger. And Mamadov is going to really have to keep his distance. Well, Mamadov is now trailing by six points, 18 to 12 for Yusek. And you have to agree with the judges there. As much as we'd love the underdog to take this bout, Yusek really has powered his way through to this six-point advantage. Now, can Mamadov pull something extraordinary out of the bag here and turn the tables? He's going to need a big knockout, I think, to take it away. Or an explosive set of point scoring combinations because to me it doesn't look like Yusek's done yet either there's more to come from the Ukrainian absolutely Nick I mean Mamadov would be well well served to start throwing some more straight punches they're very useful against an opponent who's standing at a long distance but he has to step forward and throw them they'll help him prepare for his attack measure the distance disturb his opponent's actions and score blows oh heavy hitting big blows and uh, the referee is asked, Mamadov. Uh, just a problem with the guard there, nothing to worry about too much. The clock has stopped as you see. And the look of determination on the face of uh, Yusek as he goes thundering in again with those close blows. Great work from Yusek. Again, combinations just flooding in now. Credit where it's due. Young Mamadov can take a punch and counter. You got to notice how Yusek is boxing so brilliantly. He's turning, he's shifting, and he's jumping all over Mamadov, not giving him a second to breathe. Tamar Mamadov has not been in a bout like this before. Well, the older, more mature, more experienced boxer still on top by our count here. But 18 years of age, a year ago, he was boxing in the junior ranks. And to get pitted against a guy like this must be quite daunting, but he has done his country proud, Mamadov. And it's not over yet. He's a big puncher, this Mamadov. As we said, we've seen him stop boxers already. shots from both but Mamadov is coming off the worse <laughs> 40 seconds left to go <laughs> this is the penultimate bout in the finals at the 2011 World Amateur Boxing Championships and the host nation Azerbaijan hoping for two golds and it looks like the first chance of gold is just slipping by Yusek when he's unable to hit the head of Mamadov is putting some very fast blows into the belly as well five seconds left Tamor Mamadov all dressed up nowhere to go right here in the waning seconds and there he goes. Well, the youngster from Azerbaijan putting on a brave performance. They were all even Stephen on the first. Yusek drawing comfortably clear in the second. And I don't know many people that won't have him clear on the third either. Dr. Wu on the left of your screens there, the president of the Amateur Boxing Association. Tamor Mamadov, at just 18 years of age, will be back for a lot more fights like this. His career has only just started, but the experience Alexander Yusek of Ukraine in the red, I think has got the better of the local hero here. There's the confirmation. The Ukrainian takes gold in the men's heavyweight division. 
25 to 15. It's an emphatic win for Yusek. It sure is. Very impressive stuff by this man. Look at that. Beautiful to see such a sign of respect. And as the uh, elder statesman lifts the youngster up in the air, he basically echoed the sentiments you just laid down for us, Nick, that Tamor Mamadou's career is just beginning. The third Ukrainian gold from 10 here. And three from five is a pretty impressive statistic. And Yusek admirably adding to that impressive medal haul for the Ukrainians here at these World Championships. And after these performances, they will come out on top as the most winning nation. Some fantastic shots of the action here. I'm so impressed with young Mamadov in his first major international competition moving up from the junior ranks the more experienced more powerful boxer just the better man on the day and hopefully we can grab a word or two from the ukrainian gold medalist alexander yusek ringside Я дуже добре поживаю, я дуже щасливий, я дуже радий. Я дякую трибунам, те, що вони підтримували свого спортсмена. Але на, я виграв. Ну, то можливо я сильніший, але я дякую всьому Азербайджану і аплодую йому. Дякую. Все. Хай живе Україна. І Ломаченко хай живе. Well, there is just one bout of boxing and one or two medal ceremonies to bring today's action to a close whatever you do if you've got to go somewhere go quickly because the super heavies are on next and it's big josh from uh, the united kingdom up against another azerbaijani super heavyweight but before we get into the last boxing bout of the day let's go back to the medal awards for the light heavyweight decision the 81 kilo boxers presenting the medals Mr. Osvaldo Bisbal from the IEBA Executive Committee presenting the flowers. Mr. Nogruzov, Vice President of the Boxing Federation of Azerbaijan. Flowers will be presented by Mr. Vusal Nogruzov. Vice President of Azerbaijan Boxing Federation. Brunch Medal. Mekantsev Egor, Russia. Rasulov Eshad, Uzbekistan. Bronze Medal. Mekantsev Egor, Russia. Well, Igor Mekantsev and uh, Rasulov of uh, Uzbekistan taking the uh, two bronze medals and of course that was the big surprise of the semi-finals Mekontsev the number one ranked boxer beaten by La Cruz who went on to take the gold for Cuba I don't know whether that gives the bronze medalist a better feeling or not that the guy who beat you goes on to take gold but it was the first indication that the Cuban had something special to show us, and that he did in today's medal. final. Niazim the silver medal Adelbeg, Kazakhstan. from Kazakhstan, Niazembetov. Adibek put on a brave performance, but has to settle for the silver in yet another very closely fought bout. But it is La Cruz of Cuba who takes the gold in his interview just after his win. He quite clearly said that he wanted to dedicate his win to his home nation of Cuba. He was very proud for this victory and for his country. He knew he had the right strategy to go all the way through this tournament. And the final result was a gold medal and the second gold for the Cubans in this final day of action from the World Championships. Superb performance as a... Julio La Cruz takes the 2011 World Championship title in the light heavy division.
Zəhmət omuzu Kuba'nın milli himnini səslendirin. Please call for the national anthem of Cuba. The last and final bout of the 2011 International Amateur Boxing Championships. It is the super heavyweight division and the new